up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys i came across the most annoying defense i have ever seen in tag arena and this is a team that hopefully a lot of people can build um, the core of it is just two champions and it's a fusion champion and a free login champion which is Oma death knight and helicat so hopefully a lot of people can build this team comp and they are so hard to get through and you're going to see that in a moment. So I'm just going to hop straight into um, Arena and we'll do some matches. Then we'll look at the gear and the masteries. And this is a team that you could use for Classic Arena. You could use it for Tag. You could use it for Live Arena. I definitely feel like it's a team that's much better for Live and Tag Arena, especially at Live Arena, really catch people off guard. But it's such an annoying team comp to come up against. So we're going to go against this guy with two hedges and... Uh, Gaius so they should actually be a counter to this team comp all right so let's just straight up go for it guys so we're just gonna let it run on full auto so we got Wukong got Helicat you can see we've got like three pieces of stone skin that's not a necessary but what's great about this as well is that even with bombs you know we're gonna completely mitigate that with block damage and what's what's so good about this team is that Obviously, Helicat is going to be constantly throwing out block damage, protecting the team. But what happens is because Oma Death Knight is so slow, he's just going to sit on that block damage for ages. And then by the time that we cycle back round, uh, we're going to be able to place block damage again and just basically just soak up damage. It is really, really difficult to go against. I mean, that was quite an easy one. Let's see can find a slightly harder team to come up against all right here they've got stripper they've got double dps let's just go for it i'm not even gonna mix the team up and but yeah so the, basically the core of the team is just Ulmer, death knight and helicat and then you can just slot in two other champions ideally one of them should be a cleanser and a reviver that's not great that's a little bit annoying um having that elva has been stripped so obviously that could be a problem mine is a little bit on the low side for resistance but you know we should probably still win this one quite comfortably as well but yeah this team is really good against obviously single target um champions as well like rotos um but yeah and then wukong could just you could make it really annoying and be like a stall team with someone like uko who's just going to strip uh, Pim and Provoke say he's going to keep provoking, just keep the t enemy team on lockdown. Um, otherwise, the other thing is just putting a threat. Like even a, a, another Rotos would be great. And because this team stalls and it's slow and it's long, um, Rotos is going to build up stacks and then he'll actually get to the point where he can start to block revive as well. So yeah, he would be great. But any, pr pretty much any threat you could slot in here, but ideally someone that's tanky that can take a hit and deal damage like harima would be another great option so yeah it's gonna be, i'm surprised that we're winning so comfortably let's just try and find a harder team and I'll, I'll mix it up a little bit as well okay i've just found this absolute monster in classic arena free to play yeah all right buddy um but yeah look at this 777k uh, team power no mythical champions um let's switch up i was gonna um use harima but actually let's bring in let's bring in rotos yeah but i mean just look at this team is absolutely disgusting so i'm hoping like my aim here is not to win the fight i'm going for a pure stall tactic i'm just hoping that they aren't gonna be able to break through my defense and it's going to be difficult for us to break through theirs as well because obviously they've sort of got a similar team comp where they've got Ulmer Death Knight too. And obviously Rotos is heavily countered by Ulmer Death Knight. His is going to be way, way stronger than mine. My Rotos is in, he's in pretty good gear. Um, but you know, Rotos is stat hungry. If you want to make him an absolute beast, you need to just pump the stats into him. So yeah. So I'm just hoping that this is going to be a real stall and 
you know, that is good enough for a win. Either we're going to frustrate our appointment, appointment, our opponent so much that they just leave and rage quit, or, you know, they're just going to not have the time and they're just going to quit as well. So, you know, whatever gets us the win is what we want. And this is a team that, you know, you could definitely use to get into gold for Tag Arena. Definitely a team comp worth investing into. And as you can see, like, um, Ulmer Death Knight is sitting on that block damage and just sort of the way that it's been chewed is that we are constantly, they're going to have a very, very small gap where they can hit Oma Death Knight when he's got that block damage. So when he doesn't have block damage, so really, really small gap. So yeah, it's just so easy for us to just sort of stall out. And we're already in at 1 minute 30. So I'm just going to let this run for a bit, see how long we can stall this fight out for. All right, guys, so it was a loss, but we managed to hold in there for 4 minutes and 43 seconds, which is pretty crazy considering how strong his team comp was. And do you know what? I can't help myself, but I do want to try and just see if I can beat this guy with this team comp. I just mix it up a little bit. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out and just bring in Liores. Liores is probably one of my best champions on my account. Really, really well built, fully awakened, and obviously just an absolute monster. So let's go. I just want to see if we can try and get the win. Do you know what? I'm going to take you off auto. And the other great thing about this is Rotos is a hard counter to Liores, but this is going to make it a lot, lot easier. Yeah, and if we can beat this guy, I will just be so chuffed considering how many champions are empowered and probably the insane gear that he's got on the account as well. It'd be so sick to beat this guy. So we're just chipping away at Rotos. There we go. Yeah, Roto's down. That's good. That's a good sign. And then we just need to wait for Ulmer Death Knight's stone skin to come off. And then it should be pretty much game over. I mean, obviously, this isn't going to be the fastest fight because we are using Dark Chess and Ulmer Death Knight. But I'm hoping that we can just take this mother trucker down. God, he's, that's how strong this guy's Rhaeus is, that he's almost completely peeled off the stone skin on uh, UDK. Okay, come on. All right, I'm just going to take you off. I'm just going to do a little bit of manual. I just want to just smack. Okay, that's cool. I'm just hoping that my uh, Leoris is strong enough to pound this guy into the ground. Okay, a bit of AoE damage. Okay, big, oh, for frick's sakes. Oh, I forgot about that polymorph, man. It is the most annoying thing in this game, for sure. All right, let's... Uh, Oh, I've got to wait for that to wear off now. Cycle back around again. But yeah, what an absolute ball ache. Yeah, I don't know. How do you guys feel about Polymorph? I love it and I hate it. I mean, if you're using it, it's great. But if the enemy have it, it can just be the most frustrating thing ever. Um, it is. I do like there's like an interesting mechanic. It's just so broken. But yeah, you know, seriously, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I guess one of the good things about this is that uh, Lurus has come back with half HP, so that's going to help with his passive, meaning he's going to do way, way more damage. I'm just hoping that my Lurus is strong enough just to drop the entire team. I mean, this is such a good team. I might actually start using this for plat pushes. 
Um, I do like having Liores in here. Obviously, he just absolutely smacks, and he's got that protection from champions like Rotos when you've got Ulmer Death Knight in there as well. Now it's just about trying to take these down. I guess I'll probably go with Duchess first and then work my way at taking down Sifi. And there we go. Block damage. Rotos doing absolutely nothing. Whoa. Okay. That is one tanky Duchess. I don't know if you guys saw that. Like, my Lores literally did nothing. All right. UDK down. All right. There we go. Duchess down. Now for Sifi. God, man. It's just like <laughs> trying to get a turn. There we go, guys. All right, we took down this absolute whale. What a mega beast. And obviously, he's finished three times number one in the world. I mean, I definitely could have sped that up without this team comp, but... Okay, to be fair, I didn't realize we were almost at 500k. So, you know, that sort of does say a little bit about us as well. But um, yeah, solid, solid defense. Now, let's go check out the gear and masteries on UDK and Helicat. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Scratch. Um, I saw him do this recent new video where you just change it to recently used. It makes it a hell of a lot easier when you're having to scroll, keep scrolling, 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 and you cannot find a champion. This makes it a hell of a lot easier. So yeah, so we got Ulmer Death Knight first on the list. And substats we're looking for are resistance, uh, percentage defense and HP, crit rate, because I want him to do damage and crit damage as well. To be fair, he's a stat hungry mother trucker. You may have not noticed this about him, but yeah, he needs a lot of stats. But if let's uh, let's bring it down to like a more beginner level. So for a beginner, you know, for Ulmer Death Knight, you just want resistance and then anything defense and try to avoid speed as much as possible. So on the gloves, we've got defense. We've got resistance on the chest. Um, unfortunately, we do have some speed on there. Uh, defense on the on the boots. You could have this as HP if you want to bump that stuff up as well. Defense on the ring. And this is a terrible ring. I have just been so unlucky with Spider when it comes to all my death. Uh, to undead, I can just not get a good defense ring. Um, and then the amulet, all you really want is trying to get something with substats in resistance. So this is an accuracy banner. It should be resistance, but the reason I've gone for accuracy is that he's not fully awakened. And if I want to land that polymorph, we need to have some accuracy. So that's the only reason why it's in there. Otherwise, it would be resistance. Uh, 61k HP. 5.9k defense, 117 speed, super slow, almost crit capped, 157 uh, crit damage, 560 resistance. Obviously, we could we want to try and push that to 700, maybe even 800. 283 accuracy. Again, I would drop the accuracy when he's fully awakened. And of course, you have to go polymorph with Ultima Death Knight. Just that extra layer of CC makes him even more annoying. You know, we've got the shields, we've got the heal. We've got um, decreased attack as well, which is actually really useful. And so is fear as well. And then we've got a provoke. So actually, it's kind of nice to have that um, accuracy on him as well. So this is the build that we've gone for. Um, defense and support. Just trying to make take anything that's going to make us really tanky, give us great survivability. I mean, I love Improved Parry. One of my favorite masteries. It just reduces damage. Amazing for Arena. And then, of course, we're taking Unshakable for that extra 50 resistance. Uh, in the support tree, um, Cycle of Magic, great. Trying to reduce our cooldowns. And then Everlasting Gifts for our heals and our shields. And then Helicat. So this Helicat has insane stats. And this is the Helicat that I use for Iron Twins. 
Um, so you don't have to try and go for the same gear that I've got because it is just redonkulous what we got going on. So um, sword, we've got... Um, so yeah, we're looking for speed. So let's talk about sort of like a, a mid build for him. So first of all, we just want to get speed and stone skin. Then we want defense. Then we want crit rate and then we want crit damage. Then we've got speed and crit rate, triple speed, double speed quad speed like these are some insane gloves probably one of the best pair of gloves i've got on the account um yeah then defense on the chest speed on the boots i'd love for these to be defense boots just so we could do some more damage but you want it to be quick so we can get that block damage on and again it's all about um helicat being as fast as possible so you can lap um Ulma death knight and keep that block damage on for the entire fight then we've got defense on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then defense on the banner. Total stats, we are rocking 49k HP, 4.6k defense, 273 speed. I mean, that is insane speed for a nuka. Um, 80 crit rate. I mean, I'd love for it to be crit capped, but there's just no way I can do it. 228 um, crit damage. And then the rest of the stats don't really matter. Um, but yeah, so because I'm using him for um, Iron Twins, I've got Smite on. I'd love to switch it up and bring in Soul Reaper. The only reason I haven't done that yet is that until you get to three star, it's, you're not really getting that much benefit. You're not going to get that extra 600 defense. So at the moment, I'd rather just land Smite. It's, it's not a big deal. Now, masteries. So I haven't fully done his masteries. I don't want to fully do his masteries. Um, this is just because of um, Iron Twins. I don't want to mess up with the tuning of my team. And like I don't want to take Cycle of Violence because that could mess up the rotation, skill rotation. I don't want to take Wrath of the Slain because I don't know. I just don't. I'm not keen on this mastery. Like you have to have allies die for it to come into play. I mean, it could help for Arena, but otherwise I'm not too keen on it. Um, so we do have War Masters again. This is the dude that I roll with for, um, for Iron Twins. But if you wanted to do like PvE Masteries, uh, sorry, Arena Masteries, I would just copy what I've done for my Leores and make sure that you take um, Helm Smasher so you can just blow people up. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope this helps some of you push in Tag Arena and get some more Ws in Live Arena. Uh, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.